Broadcasting. Hello, everyone. It's Ryan from Arizona. Everyone. I'm broadcasting live from Liberty University in La Haye Event Space. Um, I'm at the Student Government Association hosted watch party. We currently have Fox News on in the background, and we are waiting for election results. I mean, as it stands, Donald Trump has 254 electoral votes. Clinton has 215 as of last count. We are waiting now for things to come in. I, I, I think it's 250, yeah. But we are waiting for things to come in. Donald Trump needs to win either Michigan or Pennsylvania. Those races are tight, tight. Those states are extremely too close to fall. Um, just heard from Fox News um, decision desk people who decide whether or not um, to call the state. That because of the way voting is being counted in Michigan and Pennsylvania, they cannot decisively call that by either of those states at the moment. We have no determination. It is currently, if you live on the East Coast, it is currently 1.25 in the morning, and we do not know who's going to win this election. It is now Wednesday, November 9th. We have all voted. I hope you've done your civic duty and at least gone and voted for whoever you voted for. I did today. I have my camera off as I'm broadcasting over cellular data, which means um, less bandwidth usage, and hopefully you can hear me well. So I'm trying to get close to the microphone. Hopefully you can hear me well. Um, I'll sit back and let you listen. Brief copyright note, I do not own the material. This is Fox News broadcasting election. This is publicly accessible material, though, for the good of the country. It will be taken down off of YouTube after a short period of time. This is being broadcast for anyone to listen to provide information for the good of the country and just to give you an update on the election. So let's listen. This is... That would be a correspondent talking about right now. Brett Bear and Megan Kelly are hosting. This is the event that's being broadcast right now. So this is dealing with the election. It is being broadcast. It is too close to call right now. Even though Donald Trump only needs 16 electoral votes to clinch the nomination, it has been this way since 11.30 p.m. It is two hours late. This is how tight these last races are. Down to the wire. And that wire will be cut eventually. So, from what I've heard, from the way it stacks out, if Hillary Clinton were to win, she would have to win, run the table in basically almost all of the remaining states to get enough electoral votes. I will tell you personally, I don't want her to win. That's my personal political view. Politics is generally a, a charged subject. I try to keep it off of my channel. But right now, this is for the good of the country. I'm broadcasting to do a live stream. I promised I would do an election day live stream in my last video. Sorry, I did it this late, but I've been busy doing other things today. School work among them. And voting, of course, doing my civic duty. But right now, this is a big deal. As you can hear, the university students faithful. Not as loud as they have been. They have been extremely loud. It's hard to hear anything that's said on the on the stream that they're using. There we go. Woo! So sorry, Liberty Faithful, as you know, we're very conservative Christians. So if you go sharing, it means a Republican candidate is probably doing very well. Just so you know. That's a breakdown of the demographics here. Most of the people here are a staggering majority supported Donald Trump. Um, about a hundred people, a couple hundred people voted for Clinton and a hundred for Johnson and so on. So most of the people came out and voted for Donald Trump here in Liberty Precinct, um, here at Liberty University in Lynchburg, Virginia. Now, the state of Virginia did go to Clinton, and that is, of course, a state in northern Virginia. But Lynchburg, Virginia, Liberty University, where I am, went to Donald Trump. Um, sadly, that doesn't do much for the electoral vote. We had one congressional election in Lynchburg, um, so I, I voted in Republican for that for... Robert was Bob Goodlatte uh, for 5th um, Congressional District, Andrew um, 
he might be in your district as well for Roanoke. I heard he had an event at the Roanoke at the Hotel Roanoke earlier today. So but for him. For anyone watching in Virginia, there were two constitutional amendment questions that were on the ballot today. One was a right to work amendment and the other was probably one that's less partisan than most of us probably voted for. If you live in Virginia, I voted for it. It was to allow um, widows of servicemen who died in the service, so police and rescue workers who died in the service that are not remarried, who own their husband's property, to retain it without um, having to pay taxes on it. And I think all of us probably voted for that one. That's not as, not as partisan. And that was and the, the revision was very strict. It's only if they were to remain unmarried, things like that. It was a lot less politically charged than the right to work one. I will say I voted for the right to work amendment, but that's just me. I know that a lot of people have different views on this, and I know that you need to respect those views. And that's the beauty of living in America. We all can have different views and still come together. So, all right, Americans, this is what's going on. For all the American people who may come across this later, if you probably no one's watching this right now, I can actually see viewers. A staggering zero viewers. Yes, I know it's a lot of viewers. Oh, one viewer. Hey! Hi, I got one viewer now. Well, this is a live stream of the election I'm doing right now. Um, nice to see you. I will open the chat. I'm blind, so I'm not really good at reading the chat, but I'm opening it now. So, um, basically, right now, Donald Trump 254, Hillary Clinton 209. I was just talking about Virginia and um, some of the things that we were voting on in Virginia. Um, I don't know who you are, but uh, thank you for tuning in to watch. Right now, Michigan and um, Pennsylvania are too close to call. Donald Trump wins either of those to get the nomination. Hillary Clinton does have to run the table in order to win the election. So, this is basically what's going on right now. Um, no, nothing else has been called. A couple of senatorial elections. I believe the senator, Republican senator from Pennsylvania, is able to move on to a seat. So that's a um, senatorial. The presidential elections in those states haven't been called. But then I did hear that Hillary Clinton does have to run the table basically to win. And Donald Trump um, only has to win a couple of states or one to deal with states he wins. So, um, I love to know who you are. If you would mind maybe typing in the chat or um, putting a comment. But, uh, let's see. Yep, I've got the chat up. It just has my hello message I put in there. I'm not the best at handling the chats, but let's see. But basically, um, we have been this way at one state away for approximately two hours now. It's one thirty. Yeah, it's about one thirty-four in the morning, United States Eastern Standard Time. So the election is it, it, it's getting getting there. The, the percentages of counted votes are increasing, but it's taking a while to count some of the votes in the area I hear that Detroit and other parts of it, um, in Michigan are being counted. In. Um, Pennsylvania, of course. So there's, it's a really contested vote there. Like I said, 16 electoral votes in Michigan and 20 in Pennsylvania. Donald Trump wins either of those. He's got the nomination. Hillary Clinton has to win both and run the table for the most part with all the other states up there in order to win. Um, Democrats have managed to hold on to some important seats, including Gary Reid's seat and have um, ousted a couple of Republican candidates as well. Overall, Republicans have managed to hold on to the Senate and the House, and the presidency is the only thing that's really in contention right now. That's what everyone's paying attention to. So, 
I hope everything is going well for you. And my viewer just dropped. Great, I had one viewer on Elisha. That's more than I normally get. I normally get about zero. So I don't know who that person was, but thanks for watching. I just, I had 73% battery earlier. I have 40% now. I'm going to check to see what my data is on. Here we go. Let me check something. Here's my settings. It's taking forever to get to the phone setting, though. Okay, here we go. Let me see. I have used over a gig of data on this particular live stream. That's a nice big chunk of data. So let's just sit back and listen for a minute and see what happens. There's Maggie Kelly talking about a slippery slope with some There is a debate going on on the election panel currently for Fox, so I don't really have much else to do. There's a ticker that I can't see right now that is going through the different states and tallying the percentages. Most of the states have been called. There are just a few exceptions, and Michigan and Pennsylvania, by far, the biggest battleground states of this election. No one in the Hillary camp thought this was going to go this way. Of all the projections, Hillary's people thought they were going to win by a, a lot more votes than they have right now. No one really saw this coming. The media has been sort of biased in this. The polling hasn't accurately reflected what's going on. And Michigan, a Democrat-held state for a lot of, you know, of Michigan has gone to Democrats a lot of the time in recent elections. So that, as a blue state, be in contention right now. Donald Trump has been leading in Michigan and in Pennsylvania, both blue states. And for those to be key battleground states and the biggest key decision states of this election is staggering. Florida going to Donald Trump, that was called around 11.30 p.m. Actually, no, around 11 p.m. Florida was called. People thought that would be a bigger one. North Carolina was called before Florida, actually. So both of those are pretty big deals going, actually. Yeah, North Carolina, I think, was called before Florida. Ohio, they didn't. People were thinking Pennsylvania would be a big deal. Clinton's campaign was getting concerned. But Michigan being a big deal like this, people really didn't think that that would happen. But the two biggest battleground states, if you watch this and you're living in Michigan and Pennsylvania, know that your state played a big role in this election. However, it turns out your state has played a major role in it. Because your two states are not being called. Have been holding this process up for about two hours. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. This is the only election live stream I've ever done. Um, again, the material that you hear in the background is the SGA, Student Government Association. 
I'm a member. I'm on the auxiliary services and rules and committee, so I help write resolutions to affect the um, administration policy. We, we basically suggest policy changes to the administration, and we host events and do things. Student government's a great organization here. I'm blessed to be a part of it. So I'm at the uh, watch party right now that we're having for the election. I have been here since 7 p.m. I have been in this room on and off. I actually ate dinner at 7, came in here on 7.30. I've been in here. I've only left this room once, and I was around 11.15 to fill up some water bottles. But I've been in this room, couch potato, for the past four and a half hours watching these results come in. I'm generally very politically minded. I try to keep that off my YouTube channel normally because I don't want to stir up a lot of discord, discontent. I will tell you now, this is one of the few times you hear me talk politics, but I'll tell you what I believe. I'm not here to cause trouble over it, but um, I just, this is an important time for our nation's history, no matter what side you're on, this is an important election. So I just tell you, you're kind of a little bit, I think, but I'm not trying to be over politicized on this platform. It's not the purpose of my YouTube channel. I'm just trying to bring you the election live stream and just hear what's going on. Let's see. Donald Trump has taken the lead in the um, popular vote, 48.2% to 47.9%, um, and over 55 million. That's the popular vote right now. That is just came in. That was just updated right now. So 48.2% to Clinton's 47.9%, I believe, for popular vote. Trump is just taking the lead. That is a new update that just now came in. And now we are waiting and waiting and still waiting. Call me back around four in the morning when you have some information, people. Um, see, I still have my nice, beautiful zero viewers mark. Perfect.